From my farm, Skylands looks like an ordinary farm, yet the animals that live here aren't destined for the slaughterhouse. They're living their best life, thanks to Mike's store. <laughs> I was a truck driver and a truck mechanic. <laughs> now I'm slimy. Some five years ago, Stura couldn't imagine he would own all this land and have cows and sheep run to greet him. Evelyn! Spencer! Come on! Autumn! Today, 250 animals live here, but it all began with a calf named Jimmy. Its former owner put Jimmy in a shop window surrounded by pumpkins as a way to attract customers. In a few days, left with no food or water, Jimmy was close to dying and would have passed away had Stora not taken the animal to a vet far from where he lived. He looked terrible. And I would drive four hours each way and I would sit there with him and he would put his head on my lap and I would read him books and then I would drive home depressed every time. Jimmy got better, but Stora could no longer rest knowing there are more abandoned and mistreated animals just like Jimmy. Soon he was bombarded with messages about other animals needing help. There's no formula for what I take them. Um, I, I just have this feeling, like a lot of times, I'll just have a feeling that no one else is going to take them. The cow named Red came here from Florida. Mike saved her after Hurricane Florence hit the state. 2.15 ham. This little baby right here. Each animal here has a story. The cow Brianna jumped from a truck going full speed. After Stuart took her to Skylands, he had a vet examine the animal. The doctor examined her and he said to me, there is a huge baby in there. You're going to have a baby in a week or two. She's only eight months old um, and she's very healthy and they are always right with each other um, all day, every day. Stuart doesn't keep cows to produce milk or calves. He keeps them because they deserve a second chance. But despite help from volunteers, he has to work hard. Feeding the lot costs $750 a day. Medical expenses are higher. No cow thinks, hey, I was born for someone to eat. They don't think that. That's purely a human, you know, uh, concept that, that we, some are pets and some are friends and some are family members and some are for food. Stuart believes animals just like us are born to live a happy life. So that's what he's giving them. For Anna Nelson in Wantage, New Jersey, NRS, Viewing News.